A little class. Um, as Manny and Victoria said, um, we want to do something different here. Uh, we're going to do some live training with me now. We're going to attempt to make a gothic wedding gown. Or not a gothic wedding gown, but a gothic dress. Now this is going to be a very hard design, so bear with me. There will be parts of this that probably will not be shown because of I'm having to work with it and it take too long to do it on video. Our design is this one on the bottom. It is a circular pattern of lace on sides and it is laced throughout the different areas of the front and the back. Possibly we'll have a corset back, we don't know at this point. Okay, what we start doing here is called draping. We take a piece of muslin like this and basically put it over this, fold this edge down, put it up here high on the neck and basically just put it together like this after you block it and iron it and everything and then straighten it up and you'll find your side seams on your form. There is some people may not have a form. Uh, this is something you'd have to go out and get if you want to do draping. Okay, to save time, I have already done the top here. I will show you what we do. We find the side seams, which is a seam right here. We take and we put pins in this to where it's going to come in. Now this is very basic tutorial on this. There's a lot more draping than what I'm showing you. And there's a lot of things that I'm not doing that I should be doing. But it's just, I've learned some shortcuts and that's what I do. Not saying it's right. Okay, then you got your waistline here. You cut this off so your waistline will do right. You find your side seams. And then you got your bodice area here for your bust that has to be pulled in with a crease like that. Then you got your shoulder seams up here, your neckline, and this is your center front. Now on this particular outfit, we're not going to have a top. So what we're going to do, we're going to do an imaginary line and cut this off right here. Because this one's not having a top. So we're just going to cut this off. All the way over to there. Now we've made it a bust ear. Now what we're probably going to have to do now is we're going to have to pull this in and do the same thing right here. Which is not cooperating right at the moment. I'm going to pull this off of here. This can be gotten rid of. We don't need it no more. This will not have sleeves or a neckline. So that is why we got rid of that. As you can see now, it goes to the bottom of the armhole. Now right here we want to take this and again crease it down get it right. Some pins don't like to go right sometimes. And then you'll continue to work with that and get it right. glasses on so I can't see right excuse me now let me turn it around so I can get to it to see it and I can show you when I get done okay, I haven't uh, discovered this by now I don't like glasses okay and there is what you got when you come down to it now you got your bust line going right here. This is your bust line. This is your center front. This is your princess line. As you can see, it's running down that princess line. We're darting this. This will be a dart. Our side seam, you might see that it's off. The reason for that is we were always told to line this straight down with the screw on the form. That way it comes down right and you may have to adjust it when you go take it off. Okay, that's it for this one. 